What's up guys and welcome to another episode of The Tuesday Show brought to you by Blue Light Media. Um, today we decided that we wanted to share what some of our newest findings are on Instagram. No problem. Instagram remembers for you. Uh, you know, we're managing about a dozen different Instagram posts, posting every single day, not to mention the posts that we're doing for our own social media accounts. So over the course of the last couple of years, it's literally been thousands upon thousands of posts uh, that we've been able to study and um, kind of measure what the heck is going on. We also have some new findings when it comes to influencer marketing too, which I think you're gonna be really interested in. And guess what? We actually planned it out. I wrote it down today. So this is gonna be a good one, I hope. Uh, one of the first thing that we found um, over the thousands of posts that we've that we've managed is that after running native ads on Instagram, we noticed a massive decrease in organic uh, reach and impressions. Actually, a lot. So, for example, before we started running um, before we started running the uh, native ads on Instagram, some of our posts were getting ten thousand to fifteen thousand people that they were reaching, right? Um, but now, after we've started the Instagram uh, native ads, it's actually decreased up to like, or down to rather like 900 to 1200 people. So it's a massive drop off once we started that. Of course, it could have just been the timing of when we were uh, using the ads and some algorithm changes as well, or whatever it might've been, but really nothing else has changed. Not the style of the posts or anything like that, or the hashtags that we were using, or or any of the other practices when it comes to managing the accounts, but that was a massive drop off that we saw after using um, Facebook or Instagram ads natively within the app. Another thing that we found is that when it comes to Instagram stories, we are actually seeing an increase in reach and impressions if it's if your posts are linked to an Instagram TV post, right? But we even see more if you have two separate Instagram TV posts that are linked to two separate Instagram posts. So this makes a lot of sense to us. Obviously, they want to push out the uh, the IGTV uh, platform a little bit more, so we're, you probably will see a lot more reach. Um, but one another thing that we found too is that if you are actually posting natively to Instagram Stories as opposed to uh, putting up a chopped up video that you recorded and uploaded, similar to what we're going to do with this, uh, we're actually getting a lot more reach that way too. That's in Instagram Stories. If it's a native post to Instagram Stories, native video, we are seeing more reach in addition to linking it out to IGTV. TV stories. Um, another thing that we've seen is that we've seen incre increased rant reach when we are tagging well-known brands and by well-known I mean like Target or uh, or Vital Proteins or something like that. You know, a lot of people follow these brands and we do see a little bit of increase in the reach uh, with that. So we'll see a little bump, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Also, if you have mutual friends um, and you're tagging one of your friends in, a, in an Instagram post or one of a brands in an Instagram post, new people will start to see this. So for example, if you guys both follow Nelson, uh, but you don't always see my stories and you and I follow Nelson and I tag him in a story, you'll actually, uh, I'll actually see that this is popping up in your feed and the way that we can tell that is because we'll see new faces coming up when you swipe up to see who's actually seen your feed. As you can see, we use Instagram quite a bit. I got a couple more for you and then I'm done, I promise. Um, We've seen a decrease in impact in reach and impressions when tagging locations and hashtags. In the beginning of Instagram stories, we've, we saw that there was a massive bump and it would actually separate, uh, we, you, it would actually separate to show you that hashtag XYZ attributed this many views and location XYZ attributed this many views. We're not really seeing that anymore, so unless it's organized differently, we aren't really seeing an impact as, as to whether or not we use it or don't use it. We test all of these day in and day out. Um, and then when it comes to Instagram, uh, influencers. This is something that Carly found out recently while she was putting together an Instagram uh, uh, influencer campaign is that influencers with as little as 1800 followers are charging $30 a post. Everybody's getting a little bit smarter and understands that they're putting in work, they're putting in content, and they should uh, get paid for it. So, you know, in, uh, influencer marketing is definitely getting more expensive in a place where we used to be able to trade a shout out or just trade some pr uh, product. You know, influencer influencers are now selling their posts even for as little as $30. Um, this one in particular was 
uh, multiple posts over the course of a month and the entire campaign was over 200 but we broke it down to about $30 a post and that was only for 1800 followers however it was a very highly engaged audience and super niche so it might be worth it to you but uh, while you were doing your Instagram um, searching for new influencers don't be surprised when you get hit with this price um, that's all we have for you today. I hope that you found these uh, useful. I'll do a quick recap. We saw a decrease in reach and impressions after using native ads. Uh, we saw an increased reach in uh, Instagram stories when linked to an IGTV post. Uh, we saw increased reach when tagging uh, brands that your friends like. We also saw a decrease in the impact when tagging a location or using hashtags and in Instagram stories. And also, um, micro micro influencers are now charging money for their posts so uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode of the tuesday show remember no matter what it is be sure to put your heart into it and we'll see you next week